Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to Phoebe's Corner. I'm your girl, Miss P. Banks. You can call me Miss P or you can call me Phoebe. Either way, I'm going to respond in love. Guys, we are going to be doing a two-part video. Happy Sunday. Oops, something's in my eye. Happy Sunday. We are going to be doing Natural November as well as a special unboxing. I got a beautiful, beautiful gift. Also, this hashtag or actual tag that I am in was done by Simply D9301. We call her D Deluxe. Um, she's a big enabler. Um, we'll have you purchasing everything under the sun and wanting everything under the sun. But my special friend sent me some friend mail. And I'm very excited to just get into this box. I wanted to open it to make sure that I opened it on the right side so that nothing will fall out. But we're actually going to look at everything at the same time together. So I can already tell from just looking in this, like I'm going to do everything in my power not to tear up and not to cry, but I can't make any promises. So let's get into it. And while we are opening this box, I want to say thank you to all my returning subscribers. Come on in, come on in. We're about to watch another video. And just for coming back and just been with me and encouraging me since day one in this community and being out here on YouTube. It is not for the week. And you guys have been so loving and so encouraging. And I so appreciate you. So thank you. And if you're new to my channel, I welcome you to my channel. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting, and just being here it's all absolutely free, so come on in and have a good time. And if you just drop by and you viewing decided to stop, ah, welcome in, welcome in, come on in. You're going to have a good time too. Um, and if you want to stay around, like, sub, uh, subscribe, and share. We're going to have a good time, and so will you. So I, I hope you guys are having a great day. So she sent me this beautiful card, and I got a feeling. I got a feeling I'm about to be teary-eyed. So it says, your life uplifts others. Look at the beautiful card. Just beautiful. It says, thank you for the difference you're making. Thank you, Miss P, for just being for just being you. Always checking in on me. Always making sure I'm good. And you are an amazing human. Love you, D. Thank you, Mama. Thank you so much. Nope, not going to cry. Not gonna cry. Not. Thank you, D. That that means a lot, and I'm gonna hold on to this card. I'm gonna hold on to this card. Thank you, honey. And that's just for the card. We ain't even got in here, y'all. Look at the packaging. Love it. Oh. Oh. Okay, I got a breast cancer pen that I am definitely going to be using and having in my purse. And then this beautiful book says, Live, Love, Grace, and Gratitude. Oh, it's a little book that I can keep up with things i actually will do use this as my purse book oh no it says today i'm grateful for and then it says something to look forward to i can serve others by a lesson i learned so it's a it's a small journal that i can put in every day for little things that i've learned oh d this is awesome oh thank you i'm going to use this I, i'm going to use this book Especially here in 2025, I'm going to need this book to remind me. You know what, Dee? When I'm sitting and I'm reading my Bible, this would be one of the little things that I'm going to add to my journaling when I'm doing my spiritual reading. Thank you for this. I, I really, really appreciate it. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. All right. And we got another card in here. Thank you for your purchase. Oh, so you bought this. <gasps> it, it's peeking out the other side, so I know what it is. I know what it is. Y'all, y'all ready? Y'all ready? You ready? 
You ready? We ready? I mean, look at, oh, it says, thank you. You got thank you stickers all over. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> she got me the black hydrangea. She got me the black hydrangea. This is the, cro the Lexi crossbody. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Y'all, y'all know what I did with the last one. Y'all know what I did with the last one, with my Art Deco one. Y'all know I'm about to do it again. I'm going to do it again. Yes, I am. Yes. Look at, ooh, look at, look at him. Look at him. I'm going to do it again. Look at the beautiful placement of these flowers. D. Oh, thank you, honey. Oh, it's on this way hard. And there's another piece in here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what D, what you do? Oh no, she didn't. Yes, she did. D. What you do? Yo. It's the pouchette. It is the black hydrangea pouchette. Oh my word. You don't even know what you have done. I might use this. As a wallet. I could use that as a wallet if I wanted to. But my pink wallet. My pink Tatum. And then my blue bag. I got a bag this color blue. I could put this in my blue bag. I could put this with my black bag. I could put this. I could put that with my drawstring. Look at that white. Look at, look at, look, look, look at, look at. Dee, thank you. Oh, y'all, she is. When I tell you the sweetest person, I can't, I, there's no words. There's no words. And thank you, I don't think it's even big enough to say thank you for this beautiful gift. You are such a kind and sweet woman. And yes, we and her have known each other for a very long time in the Dunista Den. Before I even even thought about a YouTube channel, she was one of the people, well, actually one of the first that told me that I needed to do a channel. And I was still hesitating, like a whole two couple of two years went by and we were still talking and, on, and chatted up. And she was like, you need to do a channel, you need to do a channel because... I love taking pictures of my bags. I love sharing my bags and doing unboxings. But she said you would do really well on YouTube. So she is one of the true friends that I met first in the handbag community, crossing over from Facebook into YouTube and knowing her all this time. And when I tell you, she has been one of the most loving people that I have met when I first started doing purses and showing what my collection looks like and matching things up she is one of my biggest encouraging people that just believed in me and i thank you and i appreciate you for that d i i can't there's no words i, I no not gonna cry thank you with all my heart thank you yeah, I can't wait, though, to get... Thank you, Mama. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. Woo! Yay! Okay. Let's get into this natural November. So, D also... I'm gonna put that all up. And, guys, I got a new planner. Um, for 2025. Let me sit that right here. And I just want to share this real quick. So I found this planner on uh, Amazon. 
and it just finally came i got it a couple days ago actually and i looked at it and i gotta show you so if you're a planning person like i am um i did get a promotion at work um, I'm moving into doing some big things, especially for 2025 at work. And I needed to be able to have a planner that I will be able to keep up with life, work, and um, just the other things, just other things daily in general. Um, and I just wanted them all in one place that I can keep everything. I didn't want to have multiple journals for home and work. I was like, I need somewhere where I can put everything all in one and I'm okay with that and I can carry it in my work bag. So I got this beautiful uh, journal, this planner. And when I say it has everything in it, it has everything. So we're gonna open this up. And I'll, I got this from Amazon. So I will actually put the link in the, in the comments and uh, pin it to the top so that you all will be able to uh, find this journal. And I'll also link it inside the description area below. But this is the planner agenda I got for 2025. So it has this band on it. So even if you add things to it, you would be able to help it stay closed. And it is has it is binded here on the side. Um, it comes with four pages of stickers. Yep, I did take it. Gabriel took a sticker out when he was here because he was looking at it. And I was like, dude, I haven't even looked at it yet. What are you doing with my book? He just wanted to look at the stickers. So, there we got four pages of stickers um, to help with you with your life. It's got all these beautiful tabs. All the tabs are color-coded for different months. And it's everything for 2024. The last December for 2024 is here. But then it starts January. So, your to-do list for that and what your goals are. Um, each date, every year, and every month is color-coded. So, yeah, this is a really nice planner. So, if you are a planner girl, um, this is my agenda for 2025 that I am excited to be moving into because this is going to work great for my life and for work. So, if anybody, um, oh, very reasonably priced for this it was like $22. And I just got my bracelet stuck in there. Okay, there we go. $22. Got it for $22. Sorry, I was out of it because I wanted to make sure y'all could see the planner and not me. But the planner is $22 on Amazon. Great planner. And it's beautifully made. And it's hardback. So um, it's great for carrying your work bag. Which I am looking forward to. Um, so we'll put that right there as well. Let's get into Natural November. All right. You guys have seen this bag before, but I'm going to pull them out again. I'm going to pull out several. So you remember that I have my double pocket satchel in natural. She is one that I carry quite often. She has a lot of pebbling on her, but I kind of like the pebbling that is developing on her because I think it gives it character because this bag is more of like... It's more like a, a very rustic uh, feel to it to me as far as its look. So I don't mind the pebbling that's coming in on her. But yeah, this is my baby. So yeah, that's her and natural. Let's see. Here is my other satchel I have. This is the Satchel 38 in Florentine. And both of these are Florentine. So... Florentine really does uh, patina really beautifully. This is a patina bag. This bag has been used. Sun has kissed her many, many times. Love the color that is happening to her. This is new. I have not carried her yet. So you can really see like the difference from a new Florentine uh, in natural versus a older Florentine when it's patinaed. And this is my patina. But this is the Satchel 38. I have not carried her yet. She has five feet. And she has that beautiful, beautiful. That suede leather in the inside. And y'all, I'm thinking about getting me a suede bag just from touching the suede inside of these bags. I feel like a suede bag is going to be the business. Um, who is it? 
Dazzle77 sent me, showed me that the Perry Satchel is coming out in suede. I'm also thinking, looking at that bag. That bag is gorgeous. So yeah, here is my in uh, my Florentine Satchel 38. All right, so let's do the buckling. Y'all, I didn't pre-pull them out because I knew once I pulled them, I'm going to have to put them back. Okay. Here is my Buckley in natural. She's a little dusty. She's a little dusty. And she's starting to patina too, a lot. I love that you can really kind of rub some of these scars and stuff out of them. But yeah. She she is she she gets loved on quite a bit. There's some weekends that I'm actually in the mood and I want something that's big, quick, and then I can just snatch up. She is one of them. She is definitely one of my bags that I definitely love picking her up. She's got four feet on the bottom. So, yeah. So, and again, the difference. She has been kissed by the sun. She has not. These are both Florentine bags. So Florentine does patina. So if you are in the mood to get a Florentine bag and you want the color natural and you wonder how it's going to look over the years, I'll show you. This one, this is patina. And I've had her longer. So you can see the three different shades of patina that is happening here. So this is new. She's about four or five, five years old. She's five years old. I've had her for five years and she is... Patina. I've had my Buckley now. It has been... I got her during the pandemic. I got her in 2021. So yeah, I've had her for about four years as well. But yeah. I mean, you can never go wrong with getting a natural Florentine bag. They patina beautifully. Beautifully. Very beautiful. Alright, so she also wanted me to do... Guys, this might be a two-part video. I'm not going to lie. So, this is my Cooper uh, Caldwell in the color. It's actually called Cognac. They had it, I don't know why it's called Cognac, because it's just different, but this chocolate is called Cognac. And these zippers work. So, if you have never had a Cooper, these go in here all the way that is all the way in there these are this is one of my favorite silhouettes favorite silhouettes and I still have her tag inside of here nope that's for my pammy toe <laughs> wrong one I must have slipped that in there when I was changing bags one day ha 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 yeah actually I don't even have her slip it oh I put them up Okay, but yeah, this is in the color cognac. She is bald. She looks very well on the shoulder. That's how big she is. So, if a Cooper is something that you're looking to purchase, this is definitely one I highly recommend um, for purchasing. So, yeah, this is in the color cognac. We're only going to do four of these um, bags. I'm going to have to do several in part because I have so many bags that are in a natural. And she said your naturals, your chestnuts, um, your cognacs are all. I have quite a few bags in these colors. This is another Cooper. This is the Oakdale Collection. She's got five, I mean, four feet on the bottom. Another great bag to have in your collection. If you're looking for a bag that you can carry in a neutral, I want to say this bag also in the Odell is called Cognac. Yeah, this is Cognac as well. And this is the color, um, and I mean, this is from the Oakdale collection. So this is Cognac in Oakdale. This is Cognac in the Caldwell. Why he still called them both the same, I have no idea. But they're literally both the same color, but different print. 
So, y'all, when y'all figure Peter out, let me know because I'd be confused as well. But I know I bought this in Cognac and this is also in Cognac. So, those are the differences between both of these bags. That's the high view. They pop open, as you can see. You can get a lot in these bags as well. Both have that beautiful... And they both have Bettina. So, they both have this... Um, Timaro brown trim on the sides of them. I'll show you here on that side. And I have had her longer than I've had her. I bought them both new, actually off of eBay at a very, very, very steep, I mean, small price. Like they, it, they weren't expensive at all at the time that I purchased them. And I think it was around the same time um, having a 75% off sale, I got them on I Love Dooney. So here is my, my Oakdale Cognac Cooper. Love her too, because she is so beautiful. Look at the zipper pulls here. They have that beautiful braided zipper pull on all of them. Again, these pockets, y'all, the pockets for me. This bag is the pockets for me. Because they overlap and you can get your hand in both. You can slip your whole wallet, your badge in here, and you would not have a problem. You could put your car keys. And that's the other thing I think I fell in love with this bag. Because I can get my car keys out right here. I can throw my badge right here. Or your hand sanitizer. Whatever you need to get quick access to. Your cell phone. My cell phone fits in here. Here is my cell phone case. I have the Google 6. Pixel 6. And my... And it zips right up. Like, it's in there and you don't have to worry about it. So, if you just want to be able to put your phone in your purse, not worry about it, not think about it, and then get you, be able to get your phone out, you could just zip it down and pull your phone out. That's my love for this. It's the convenience in this bag. Peter did such a great job on this Cooper. He needs to bring these back for real. I know gray is not part of this natural, but I just had to show y'all, like, this smoke, <laughs> the smoke. <laughs> do you want this smoke? Yeah, you want that smoke. The smoke, yeah. We'll have to do a gray one one day. Do gray color. But yes, that is one, two, three, four, five of 14. And we've got one, two, three four five bags to go yes so there's five other bags in here in natural that i would need to show so i will be doing a part two video for each one of those bags um so that way i can just finish it out so yes this is my natural november hut you hut you i gotta sneeze <gasps> oh excuse me so yes, that is Natural November for part one. And you guys, just real quick. Y'all know when I moved into this bag on Monday. I just want to let you know that I changed my strap. I just was curious. Something was like, it was plaguing my mind. Like I was like, I wonder how I can get this bag to be just a shoulder bag and how it would do with this strap. So I attached and I put my strap on the bag. And when I tell you that the carry for this, as you can see, it makes it smile a lot. Like it just, it really does make it just like completely come up. But look how easy it is to throw on my shoulder. Like it turned it into a complete shoulder bag without me having to loop everything inside of it by just adding a wide shoulder strap on this bag and this bag is perfect so if you are looking for to purchase the large uh pebble grain satchel one um the new sale is 75 percent off so i think it's like running one uh i want to say 145 maybe 165 is the last time i've seen it they have this bag in the forest. They also have it in the elephant and slate. I've seen another lady on Facebook with the slate bag. The slate is fire. But also on Dooney.com, he has it in bone. He has it in black. And the bone is 
absolutely stunning. I'm waiting on that bone to hit ILD or go onto a nice sale on Dooney.com. But if you are looking to purchase the large or even the medium, because he has a smaller version of this bag, the zipper pulls, you will, I'm grateful that he did use these tassels. You will find yourself zipping it up and using the zipper pull to zip your bag. It is a great bag to carry. Um, to, to So good, to be honest with you. Um, and I'm just making sure I keep myself like out of the picture because I'm like, I want you to really hone in on this bag. This bag is so good. The carry is so good. If you can put a shoulder strap on this bag, this bag is worth the purchase. She is hauling her weight. She is hauling, she, she's living, I carried her out of town. I was like, I'm going out of town. I wanted to have a bag. So that's what I did. I literally carried her like this the whole weekend. And as I moved and grooved and got out of the car, if I wasn't grabbing her by her strap, I was grabbing her by her handles. You can go out of town and travel with this bag. It's not going to get in the way. It's not going to be cumbersome. It's going to move and groove with you. So if you're looking to get the large or the medium or the smaller version of this one, I want to say it's medium because, I mean, if this is the large, it has to be another, it has to be, the smaller one has to be a medium. But either way, this bag is going to function with you, for you. This extra space right here on the side is truly extra space inside of this bag. I have my large frame kiss lock sitting right here. Like, it's sitting right here inside of this bag. It's, you can see the extra, like, kind of bump that it gives on the side. If you did not purchase this bag, purchase this bag. If you are a satchel girl, purchase this bag. Absolutely worth every single penny. The functionality, the space that is given inside of this bag is ridiculous. When I say that the space is legit, the space is legit. It's bigger, honestly, underneath. I would say it's maybe, I would say maybe a half inch, maybe less like just a smidgen bigger than our my regular large satchels because of this extra bump out that this thing gives like he did this with this bag now as far as the weight i will tell you if you got leather inside of leather is yes it's going to be heavy but if you lighten it up if you lighten this up you it, it will not be as heavy because to be honest with you like i don't know i ain't gonna say it feels thin but the leather in itself, like the bag itself, is not heavy by itself. If I was to change everything out and I use like some light, let's say Victoria's Secret pouches, it would probably lighten the bag up. But I got leather inside of leather. So yes, it does have some weight to it. Yes, that makes it will make it heavy. But I don't mind that because I'm going to carry my bag. I don't care what the weight is. And I'm going to make sure I have the accessories that I want in it is going to be in it. But yes, but I still carried it and it didn't bother me. For me, that's not for everybody else. But if you're going to get it, I'm going to tell you how to do it. Lighten your, your accessory pieces up and definitely, absolutely uh, make sure that you're carrying it in the way that is best for you. I'm just going to highly recommend, though, this particular way. If you love your bag being thrown on the shoulder, do this. Um, if you have a strap like this, take it off of one of your other bags and use it on here. This strap I did buy to just use in, on any bag that I wanted to. So I decided to put my crossbody strap away and I threw this on here and it was the best decision I ever made. I might try and find me another one because I may just leave this on this bag permanently and never take it back off. So that's just my option, but that's just another way to carry your bag. And to be honest with you, I think I like it better with the Y strap because I felt like it elevated the bag more. That's just me. But I also carry this same strap on oops, this bag. Because when I bought her, I got her for a good deal because she didn't have a strap. So I bought it anyway because I knew that I could find a strap to put on this bag. I have used this same strap on this bag. 
I, the Y strap on, on a double pocket satchel is fire. Like, and I, I think I've got some pictures. I will post pictures um, underneath the video or in, no, I'll post the pictures on my community page. That way you can see what a wide strap looks like on one of these double pocket satchels. And that way it'd be a decision you want to make. You can either take the strap the, that goes with this bag off. Or if you're in the hunt and you're looking for a double pocket satchel in natural. And somebody says, hey, I don't have the strap. I took the strap off. Are you willing? Yeah. Because I, I honestly, I got this bag for like, I think it was like 200 and it's just because the strap was gone is the reason why she dropped the price on it so good. So I purchased it because I knew like the strap didn't wasn't a deal breaker for me because I knew I was going to change the strap and put this strap on there. So if you find a bag that you love, don't let that stop you from purchasing your bag because if anything, you're missing out on a great deal and all the possibilities and using your imagination, imagination and being creative and finding another way to carry your bag to make it benefit you. And also, you could be missing out on a silhouette that you may never ever see again or it's going to take decades for it to come out again before you even get another one. Because I don't see Peter bringing these back out anytime soon. If he does, that's going to be a miracle in itself. But yes, ladies, find your bag, get your strap, get your bag off of ILD because I'm going to find me another one. And yes go ahead and, and make your bag work for you and secure your bag in the best way that fits you so that is all that i got for natural november and actually an update on this bag and a friend mail opening so i need all of you to do me several favors i need you to stay loving stay kind stay safe stay patient and remember to do self-care other than that i hope you all are making your corner of the world as happy as you possibly can Cause over here at Phoebe's Corner, Phoebe is very happy and having a good time. Y'all take care. Happy Sunday. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.